Uh, two of the country's musical legends will this evening be conferred with the freedom of their native city. Val Dunican and Brendan Boyer have returned to Waterford for the special ceremony. Both say they're honoured and humbled to have been considered. Val Dunican's shows on television and live performances attracted millions of viewers over the years. He recorded more than 50 albums, had millions of sales and is delighted to be back visiting his native Waterford. I'm 84 years old now and uh, I've had the time of my life. I really, really have, you know. Imagine doing something for your whole working life that you re really would have done for nothing or for singing a few songs. There are millions of people singing a few songs, but they don't have the good fortune that we've had doing it, and that's it. Brendan Boyer, the king of the Hucklebook, still performs in Las Vegas. He's 73 now, and cites Elvis as one of his musical heroes. It was Elvis really, uh, really set me off and, uh, and everything like that, and I, I, was thought a lot of, I thought a lot of people that weren't Elvis fans underrated him as the singer and performer that he was, but, Earlier, around the time that we were listening to Val singing Donnelly Sausages on, 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 on Radio Air, and, um, I liked Frankie Lane. You might duet sometime. Oh, gee. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll do a rock number as long as we can slow, do it slowly. <laughs> um, Rafferty's Motor Car. <laughs> Damien Tiernan, RT News, Waterford.